Actor Clark Gregg is well-loved for many roles. In recent years, he shared the very personal story of his battle with anxiety. I never really considered myself someone who suffered from anxiety, and I really, I knew that a part of me loved adrenaline and loved to try risky things, cliff diving in Vermont in the summers when we were doing new plays where we barely knew the lines. But it wasn't until later in my 40s when I started to experience really intense physical symptoms that I didn't identify with nerves or anxiety at all. I would notice a kind of buzzing of energy, something very physical in my body. And a lot of times I thought I was getting sick or something and then a couple of days in I'd realize something doesn't feel right and I don't feel like myself. The world feels uh, almost like through a, through a piece of glass. He enlisted the help of a therapist and a psychiatrist and found valuable advice in a book called Dare. And I read this book and it had exercises about how to kind of learn to tolerate the anxiety, how to talk your way through it and not try to resist it. And um, within two days, I was off on vacation in a very different uh, state of mind. For Clark Gregg, 2020 was rough. The pandemic hit just as he was going through a divorce and four months later, the death of his younger brother. The grief, it felt unmanageable to me, you know, I didn't. I didn't know I could cope with those feelings. It felt like, it felt like a big, giant um, tackle on somebody who was already standing on marbles. He began surfing, and today he says physical activity is a key element of his mental wellness routine. That exertion puts me in my body, gives me a serenity that uh, is just unmatched, that just works for me. And just being in the ocean and work paddling hard, I didn't care if, you know, someone else beat me to the wave, at least I was getting some exercise. I was meditating. I was, you know, speaking to a therapist and trying to work through it. There's a saying in recovery, you're only as sick as your secrets. And I think there's something to do with, because there's so much shame around it, I felt like if I could be of service to somebody else about it, one person, uh, that that would help my recovery, that that would help me uh, I don't know, be more comfortable with it. I think the number one piece of advice I'd have is, you're not alone. You're not alone. I, I th think you're gonna find that you have friends. You'll have, find that you have people in your family who are quietly going through their own versions of this.